The silence could be music to our ears. A congresswoman who represents parts of the Piedmont Triad wants to put an end to those annoying robocalls, but there's a catch. WFMY News 2's Tasha Moyes is digging deeper into Representative Virginia Fox's idea. The phone rings and you run to pick it up, only to hear an automated recording. This is an important message regarding your current credit card account. You're not alone. There are about 5 billion robocalls made every month, according to robocall blocking app Umail. I just hear stories all the time from my friends and neighbors, and I get them myself at home. Uh, get a robocall at home when you're eating dinner or when it's not appropriate. Representative Virginia Fox is trying to change that. Right now, you can sign up to be on the Do Not Call registry to limit telemarketers. But certain groups like charities, debt collectors, and politicians can still robocall you. And I think it is wrong for political calls to be excluded from the Do Not Call list. So Representative Fox introduced the Robocalls Off Phones Act, or the Robocop Act. If passed, the bill would expand the Do Not Call Registry to include political robocalls. If a person wants to opt out of getting those calls, he or she can do that. But not all political calls, just the ones done by machine. Representative Fox has tried to get legislation like this passed every term since she's been in office since 2004, but her colleagues won't get on board. Many people in elected office don't like it because they want to continue to do it. And frankly, robocalls are very cheap. In the meantime, here's what you should do if you're sick of spam robocalls and you're on the do not call list. Just don't answer the phone. If you do, hang up immediately and don't press any numbers if you're and file a formal complaint with both your state's attorney general and the Federal Trade Commission.